everyone, this is Anna from Koala Soap, and today we're going to make um, a basic soap with some really thin uh, gold lines, almost looking like a mica line, but not really a mica line, so a pseudo mica line. Guess what we're going to use? We're going to use uh, these that we just did that was a disaster. So what I've done is we're going to use this mold, back to my favorite mold. Um, it's about 20 ounces. I'm going to do three layers. So I'm going to be, this has seven ounces in it, and then I'm going to just keep melting that down. And then I have a little bit of clear melt and pour. This is shea butter melt and pour base, and this already has love spell in it, so I'm not going to add any other fragrance. I think it has enough. I'm not really going to add any fragrance here because I, we're, we're pretty good on it. Um, it there's not gonna, we're not going to use that much. We're going to be using Stardust Micas. Uh, we're going to be using a gold, and we're going to be using the one we did yesterday, which was Sunset Pink. So we're going to go ahead and melt this down and get started. Okay, so this one is melted down. Um, let's see, it's about 139. Now, for, for this design, for me, it matters. It may not matter to anybody else. It's just the way I am. There's a little hole at the top of this mold, which I use as my guide for what is the front versus what is the side. And then they have these guides. If you use this as the front, then you'll have four one inch bars. Um, if you use it this way, where this is the front, you're gonna have um, like three, three and a half bars or something like that, because it's not a four by four. I don't know if you can tell that. So I use this as my front just kind of tells me what I'm doing and if I'm doing embeds, where everything needs to be facing. So we're starting to get a skin on this, so we're gonna go ahead and put this one in. Then we're gonna go ahead and let that go ahead. We need a skin on it, and then we'll go ahead and get started with um, our gold mica. While I'm waiting um, for this to set, I'm gonna go ahead and measure out seven more ounces. So I'm gonna, this is gonna stay home, so I'm not really gonna use gloves. This is just all, at this point, I'm just experimenting with all this soap. So you hit your scale, whichever scale you get. Um, you put the cup on it, and then I'm gonna zero it again, because the cup weighs about, it looks like three ounces. And then I'm going to get our bag and I'm going to measure out another seven ounces because I, I basically want three layers. And I didn't add any mica because it was pink enough, so I, I'm gonna just try and keep it consistent. Okay, so wait for this to set, we'll work on this, and we're all weighed out for our next layer. This now has a fairly thick skin on it, which I'm happy about. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a skewer, it's a little bit, got more of, a little bit more of a point than the actual chopstick, and because I'm gonna be cutting it this way, I'm going to just make some hatch marks this way, being careful not to poke through the layers. If you do, that's okay. It's just, it'll be forgiving. It will, I, I'm only doing it because I don't want to, when I cut, I don't want to see like little divots. I'm trying not to go there, but it might happen. So I'm just hatching in one direction. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my glycerin and I'm going to go ahead and heat it up. And there's very little in there, maybe one to two ounces, if that. And then I'm going to mix it with my mica. So let's go ahead and get this heated up. Okay, it's heated up. There wasn't a lot, so I'm curious as to how hot it is. It's a 169. I'm not gonna put any fragrance oil in it because I think that this had enough in it, so I'm gonna just leave it alone. But what I am gonna do is add this gold to it because I want it to be a kind of a darker color here. So we're gonna add a little bit of alcohol here and we'll add a little bit of the mica.
And then you can kind of see the color. It's a really rich, rich color. Oh, and this is why I wear gloves, because I have now my all over my hands. Okay, so we're going to go ahead, mix it into here. I have a Abbott ring here. And then I'm going to use my alcohol. mix it in there. I'm not going to squirt alcohol on this yet until right before I'm ready to pour because all it's going to do is evaporate and it's just not going to do us any good at all. So we'll go ahead. It's one of two ways. Now you can kind of see the color there. Let's see how hot it is because if it's hotter than I think 130 it's going to melt through. It says 131. I'm not sure I'm trusting that because this glycerin gets super hot. A lot hotter so okay well it says 130 let's go to like 120 something <laughs> just to be sure now there's a couple ways I've seen people do this <clears throat> you can what they're doing is they're just taking um I've seen just straight mica and alcohol and then you paint the inside um, but what I'm gonna do is I don't know if you need to use this. If you want to use it, feel free to use it, and it's gonna wash clean. Just make sure you wash it right after you use it. That way you can get the soap out of there. I use this, um, not this particular one, I have a new pack, but I, I use these for my tumblers. So I use it for uh, the Mod, Mod Podge uh, in the tumblers. Uh, I think what I'm gonna do, because I think what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna pour a real thin layer and not, not even mess with it. So let's see. So 126, I think we're okay to do that. At this point, what's really helpful is having a spatula on standby so that you're not pouring straight down and it, it melts and, and opens up. So at this point, it would be good to go ahead and squirt your alcohol. And then using your spatula, get this in a good spot here, and we're gonna pour very slowly. I, I really don't wanna pop through and I really just want a real thin layer. Make sure you're level on whatever surface you're working on. The mold is so small, it's kind of hard to... I can't even get my spatula in there. That's okay. Wouldn't it be something if we had tea disasters on the same soap? I think the soap would be jinxed at this point. And we'll just keep experimenting with it. What's the harm? So at this point, I'm going to just kind of move it around. Oh, I don't want it to pop through. Looks like it wants to try to pop through. Okay. I'm just gonna leave it alone. I'm not gonna touch it, and I'm gonna hope it stays right where it's at. Um, maybe, I'm in California, so maybe maybe the house is on a tilt from the last air, uh, earthquake. But what I'm seeing is, there's a little bit of pink poking through over there. I'm really, I'm just not gonna worry about it. I just wanna see if this works. So we're gonna go ahead and let this set. And then our next step is to melt this seven ounces and just repeat exactly what we just did. I'm going to save this because um, I can reheat it and hopefully add um, another layer. So we'll be back. Okay, so this is set pretty good. We're going to go ahead, we'll make our hatch marks, and we're just going to repeat the process a couple more times. So we'll go ahead and get our next seven ounces ready, and then we will reheat up our glycerin, and we'll just repeat the process.
Okay, so now we have this poured. What I've done is I peeled up the leftover gold mica and a little bit of the pink. For this soap, I, I, I really don't, for, for this design, I, I don't like flat tops because I, I just like it to have a little bit more something. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to melt these down. I'm going to melt this down. I'm going to put it in our little pink flat mold. And then I'm going to uh, make some shavings out of it. And then we're going to add that to the top. Okay, and we're back. So these have set. This is pretty hard now. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to add a little bit of a top to it. And what I'm going to do is what I want is to get a salad shooter and make this a lot easier. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to shred this and then we're going to add it to the top of the soap here. we're going to be putting it on top of this. We're going to go ahead and melt this down. We're going to have this act like the glue uh, for the top of our soap. So we'll be back. Okay, this is really kind of hot, but I think I have enough. So even if it melted a little bit through, I would it would be okay. So that's fine. Basically what I want is I just want to add a little bit of a top here. So we will add the alcohol. This is already getting the skin. We will pour a thin layer. And it's just going to act like our little glue. And get some of those gold pieces in there. And then what I usually like to do is put a little bit of a clear melt and pour and then just kind of pour it on top so it kind of continues to make it stick. I don't need that much, but just a, a little bit. And then um, I'm trying to tie in the gold with a little bit more of the gold flecks. So we'll do that. So the last thing I'll do is I'm just going to put, actually, you know what? We have two more little pieces of these left. So what I think I'll do is I'll just melt one of these and I'll just kind of pour it on top. So we'll melt this back down. Okay, we have a little bit more melted. What I did is I took the slivers, the extra slivers of these that were on the plate, not the gold ones, but the pink ones, and I poured them in here too. So this is really kind of hot, but that's okay. It's just going to melt on top, and we're just going to drizzle it. We're not going to, and it might actually melt some of your shreds, but that's okay because then it'll just kind of look like part of the design. You just kind of want it to blend in. And now we'll wait and we'll do the cut. Okay, we're back and this is set. So I would expect to lose a couple sprinkles, but we will go ahead and unmold and see how it looks. Okay, so now you can see what it looks like when you do the ridges. I didn't want to cut it this way because then the ridges would have gone, if I cut it like this, the ridges would have gone down. And I, I wanted it to go this way just because of the line going through it. 
So here's what it looks like with the lines, okay, in the top. And some of these might fall off, but I, I don't think so, as long as you do it like that. And you can't really tell because we use the same color. Now this is what it looks like if you cut it straight. It still looks great. So either way, it's your choice, however you wanna do it. It's a good size bar. And I think we did a really good job of saving this last design, which I wasn't a fan of. Still smells good, everything. If you want to get rid of this, you would just put it in here and then you would just cut down. It's hard for me to do it. Um, I'm not going to do it on camera, but basically I would just kind of put it right here and then I would cut straight down. I'm actually going to just leave this the way it is um, just because I kind of like it. And that's how we would save a soap. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, this is... We, I am now, the website is going up. You'll notice that on this article, I'm actually going to have measurements, ingredients, and, and much more thorough. So please be sure to check out the website. I'm going to be trying to put up articles of all the soaps that I've made, even in the past. It's, you know, it's a process, but I'm, I'm, I'm getting there. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this, and we will see you next week. This is Anna from Koala Soap, and be safe out there.